Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to show you how to take the um, the print head out of this printer, which is a an Epson Stylus Photo R2400. So the first thing you need to do is uh, have it switched on, and then you want to press the the button here, which will allow you to change uh, the cartridges. Um, if I lift the lid first, you can see if I lift that up first. Um, I've actually already taken all the cartridges out, so this is why I have all red lights on here. But if you can see the the print head carriage here is moved over here, so you can't open anything up. So you want to press the button, which would normally allow you to change the cartridges, which is there, and that should move that over. Okay, so now that's moved over, what I want to do is uh, stop it from moving anywhere inadvertently, because we're going to take the print head out. So the best thing to do is to come around the back and pull out the uh, power lead. So I'm just going to pull that straight out now. There we go. So that's not going to go anywhere now. So uh, next thing to do is to open the lid here. And then when you're inside there, so it's a little bit dark. Um, let's see if I can put some light on it. There we go. I point to it with my screwdriver. So this is the, this is the print head here. Obviously, these are the where the cartridge inks go into the printhead, and then you have four screws. Sorry, three screws, not four. You have one there, uh, one there, and one in there. But before you take them out, you want to take this out, which is a plastic cover, and that covers the the ribbons there. So uh, the easiest way to do that is to sort of put a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, in there and then tease it up. There are sort of two clips behind it as well. So you have to be really careful because you could crack that off. So um, I'm just gonna get another screwdriver, hold on. Okay, so I've got a flathead screwdriver. So I'm gonna go in and try and tease this up. So I'll put it in there and flick it out of it there. It's falling inside the, <laughs> inside the printer. It doesn't matter. I'll get it, get it later. So obviously try and avoid that <laughs> if you can. Um, so now I'm going to go in and undo these screws. That's one. Sorry about my amateur filming. I am filming with my with my mobile phone. <laughs> so eventually, I might improve that with a proper camera camera or something. But uh, at the moment, I just have to make do with this. I think. Right, that's screw number two, number three. I'm also going to show you the print head because I I actually damaged it in trying to clean it, and I uh, thought I might as well since it's completely ruined. I'm going to show you. How, uh, how I ruined it basically, and how to avoid ruining it because they're not cheap. These, uh, these um, the printers or the print print heads. I think the print heads are ridiculously expensive. Anyway, I've taken those three screws out, so now you can just lift this out. Just grab one part of it somewhere and just lift that out. Just gently lift that out, and then. As you lift it, to sort of turn it, because if you have the ribbon cables there, obviously you can see the the print head where it's completely ruined. I the I'll tell you about that in a bit. Anyway, um, I'm just going to rest that on there, and then I'm going to pull the two the two ribbons out of the the slots. They just slide out basically, but you just have to be gentle with them. So I need two hands to do that. So bear with me. Okay, so I've got that out now, and uh, just something else to bear in mind, when you put this back in, I'm just going to close the lid and slide it over to show you a little bit, but when you put put this back in, okay, you won't be able to see it now, but these ribbons, they slide into a little plastic sort of holder, I wonder if I can show you through here, just make sure you tuck them in that bit there they all slide down there 
which keeps the ball out of the way. It's not so easy to do that, but once when you put it back together, just make sure you slide them back behind this little sort of semicircle of plastic there, and that'll, that'll keep them in place, stop them sort of moving around. Okay, and obviously putting it back in after you've done it, whatever you need to do with it or replacing it, um, it's just a reversal of how you took it out. Um, so now I'm going to actually show you the print head and sort of what I did to it and how you take that bit apart if you need to take that bit apart um, so so obviously there it is there and when you turn it over you've got three screws okay so I've undone those three screws so I'll show you bit by bit um, how this comes apart so now once you've done the three screws this metal case comes off so put that side and then uh, just so you know, this bit's not supposed to come off. This is where I ruined it. And you can see it's all all bent and ruined now. I even tried to glue this back on um, and uh, sort of blocked everything <laughs> underneath it. So yeah, it's completely ruined, but uh, it's good to show you now. So you can actually see how it would, would have worked. You can sort of see the little, the little lines on that and that's where the ink comes out. And those actually were, when I took it apart, they were quite badly blocked. Uh, you can see the remnants of sort of glue and stuff on there so it's a shame really that's completely ruined but never mind i'm not that bothered the printer didn't cost me a penny anyway so um so yeah that's what that looks like now it's full of glue basically because it yeah, completely ruined it but um you can see these little holes are where the ink comes through and I noticed two of these were completely blocked as well. So I, know, I don't know how it would have ever got unblocked, to be honest. I, man I managed to see through, see light through these holes. I'll show you the other side of it and then you'll see what I mean. So obviously when you take the screws out, it looks sort of like that. And you can uh, just, just come apart. There we go. So that's just come off there. You can see that. So if I turn it over. You've got like a rubber gasket here and I was putting uh, I was putting all sorts of stuff through these holes like squirting you know uh, print head cleaner etc and then it wasn't until I re it wasn't until I managed to get the whole thing apart and that bit off the front which shouldn't come off that I realized I couldn't see through two of these holes um, I don't know if I can show you that with a you'll see through them or not but it was like two of these I couldn't see through and I poked a pin through and then I could see through so they would have been completely blocked but even then that probably didn't do much good because if you look really closely in the hole there you can see like a little bit of metal goes in the center of that hole and of course when you put a pin through it, it just breaks that off so that's probably not going to help either so like I said, I don't know how that would have ever been unblocked with any kind of uh, putting fluid through it. I think it would have never have become unblocked. It was that badly done. So, but anyway, that comes off of here, and that leaves you the that case part there, which it actually seems to flow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different nozzles. But when you turn them over. They sort of blend together on three of those in the middle so that's quite interesting so there you go i'm not sure what i would suggest to take it all apart like that and <laughs> try and do it like that but um it might help to see that if you were doing anything with it so uh, as usual uh, if you like my channel please like and subscribe and uh, i'll see you next time Bye bye